it's crafty time. <laughs> so, if you've watched my review of Scribbles That Matter, B6, A6, their new journals they came out with, where the covers are a little different than their A5s, I bought this in red and I got the A6 and the turquoise, their standard turquoise, which I don't mind. I'm just tired of it. Um, I don't like, I complained a lot about the red, like, oh, so complained a lot about the red. I'm, I'm, I would never buy a red book. That's just my taste. I would never, I wonder if I can do that. I would never buy a red book. So I've been thinking for a while, like I put a big sticker on it and I'm like, what am I going to do with this? Well, as a Christmas present from a friend, I got rub and buffs and I was like, I don't even know what this stuff is. And she's, and she explained it to me and told me that I need to go watch some videos that people are using it in journals. And I was like, oh my gosh. So she, I've seen a few videos and there is some amazing stuff done with this. But one of the things it's used on regularly is wood. And it's changes, it changes the color of wood. It's some pretty cool stuff. I did, I haven't done an update on this, but, so I'll just try and flip to the page. I was just playing around and I used this silver. And it's pretty awesome. And the great thing is, is it's like, it's on there. Because I was having problems with the rub-ons, and they're just, they're, ugh, ugh, I can't. We're not talking about it. That's a different video. Anyway, so me and her were talking, and she was talking about changing the color of a cover. And we were talking about, she, she was like, can you paint a cover? And I'm like, that's out of my realm. I've never attempted to paint a cover. Well, we were talking about the rub and buff. And I was like, oh, I should try that red scribbles. So there she, she <laughs> I was like, I should try it on that red scribbles because it's red and nothing can make it worse. That's probably not true, is it? But whatever. So her and I said we should do this at the same time. So there should be a video of hers out there. And if there is, I will link it. Um, showing it on a different journal. I don't think she was using scribbles that matter. So... This up here, I decided, I was getting antsy, and I decided that I wanted to do, this is, I wanted to do a test. So I tested it right here. This, I used gold leaf, and I tested it in this corner right here. What I like about it is, is, is it doesn't completely cover the red, which is okay, but it, it tones it way down. So... I don't know that I, I'm not a big gold person, so I was kind of thinking, hmm, do I want it gold? But I really feel like I need to test the colors before I just dive right in and do a whole color. So, pull out my handy dandy rag here. Um, this is the gold leaf. I'm going to test the antique gold, like right next to it. And then I think, all right, here I'm going to test the patina, is what it's called. It's, it's a blue. And then the silver leaf. Um, I'm not going to bother with Spanish copper or the ruby because I don't want more red. Even if it would make it shine and it would, I don't want, I don't, I don't want red. So let's just dive right in. I may have to open these. Yep. I haven't even opened them all. How crazy is that? So I'm just going to put a little bit on my rag here. That was probably a little more than I wanted, but that's okay. That is definitely different. That was a lot that I probably didn't need on there. So, and that's the other thing. I don't know if I if I rub it out at all, if it's going to dry better. I don't know. I, I don't know this stuff well enough. To be like, I know how this works. And I know that it's probably going to look a little weird on the back of my journal with different colors. But I don't care because I want to use the color that I like the best. So I'm just going to go across the top. You guys, oh, that's way too much. Wow. Okay, hold on. I need a palette knife. I scraped a little off with a palette knife. You don't see that. Um, and then I, I tested out the silver. And then um, next up, I'm going to try the patina, which is that blue. 
and it doesn't the red is so overpowering that I think the silver and blue just I wouldn't have been happy if I'd have went with either one of them I think that the gold gives the best coverage even though I don't think gold would have been my favorite but coverage wise it does and it is the antique gold that I used um again all those links so here's where you see me put a lot down and I just start rubbing and buffing. Hence the rubbing and buffing name, right? <laughs> um, so one of the things I can say is that I didn't want to use all my product. This wasn't what it was for. I was meant to journal with it and use it in journals, not on the journal. So I really wanted to not use the whole tube. With that, I think if you want a really solid coverage of it you could totally use the whole tube um i'm going to tell you that on the scribbles especially where the icons are it's harder to get into the grooves of them i did i was sloppy with it i was okay with that for me this is a fix i want to use this journal and i really disliked the red as you guys know because i've said it a hundred times so with that i'm going to turn this over to music and let you guys See me just do the rest of it for a few minutes and then I will come back and give you guys an overview in regular motion. Thanks for watching. Here's the tunes.
you've seen the high speed. Um, I went away. I had a dentist appointment, so if I sound kind of funny, that's why. I got a little rub off still. Um, oh gosh, I hope I don't sound too funny. My mouth feels so numb. I had a prep for a crown. I had a temporary crown. Oh, anyway. So you can see, and I don't know how well you see this, um, a little bit of rub off. I hope I got that in frame right. I feel weird. The light's weird here. Um, and I'm thinking that it might just need to be buffed a little more. Um, I'm going to have to do a little research on that. I need to do another coat covering on the spine, and I need to even out the back. My advice is if you decide to do this, and I will link all of these below, is that you start on the back. That is, um, I don't have much advice because I don't know these products super well. Um, it did wash off my hands fairly well, so that was a bonus that I wasn't anticipating. Um, so that is, I mean, my biggest piece of advice is that um, to start on the back, um, start small, you can build up. I, I'm, I mean, I'm not, I, oh, look at that. I expect some variation, some rub off. I, I don't really know what to expect. I'm gonna take a clean claw, claw blah, blah. <sighs> Did I mention that half my face is still numb? Oh my goodness. And this is a mess, I made a mess of this. Um, so I was trying to get in there. Um, I think I'm, I'm fine with how it looks. I know it's not going to be perfect, but honestly, the fact that it's not that bright ass red anymore makes me so happy. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to do a little little rub here on the front. Um, I am, I mean, I was, that's what I was trying to say when I fumbled my words because my face is half numb. Sorry, I can't get over it. I'm going to take a cloth, a, a clean cloth, and I'm going to just run like a buffer over it and just rub it in a little more in places and see how that works. I I'm happy with it. I'm even happy with the inconsistencies on it. I just, I honestly, it's, it's, it's pretty. It is, um, it's, it's pretty. That's all I got for you. It is actually pretty. So I'm, I may play a little, um, but you guys don't need more visual on that. So rub and buff linked below. It's not sponsored. Again, this was a gift. I didn't even pay. For, I didn't pay for these. They were a gift. But um, they were a gift to do journaling in, but I really like it. I did get some on the spine, and I'm almost curious to do the whole spine and see what happens. But I, I think that looked gaudy. I don't know. I, do, I don't really know. But I like that it's messy. I really do. I'm going to use this journal for work, so I'm not really worried about it. I just, I mean, I'm, I'm just not. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this video here and then I'm going to come back probably tomorrow after it's set for 24 hours and see exactly, do another paper test to see if it's rubbing off at all and uh, give you an update and then, and then look out, I'll start using it. This is, um, this is pretty exciting. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of excited about this. Okay. So it's been... A couple weeks since I did this and I'm just editing the video for upload and I thought I would show you guys like what it looks like um, this is the original paper that I used to test and I think I'm just gonna do that a little bit of rub off happened I don't know if you can see it at all I very very faint and I rubbed quite hard I'm pretty sure the camera might have even shook a little so it it's not coming off um it did change the feel of it a little bit 
but other than other than that nothing I tried to get the edges pretty good I I talked about possibly doing the spine but I don't wanna I don't wanna waste the product because I want to use it for other stuff but I like the it, it's not perfect it's definitely not perfect but it's a fix for this red and I'm debating which is really funny because does the red even matter if I put it in a cover does the red even matter? <laughs> I don't know. I probably won't put it in a cover for work, but anyway. I just wanted to give come back because I said I did in the other video and I hadn't filmed it and just give you guys an update that it, it held its color well and everything. So now I'm going to start using it. And um, you'll see it probably at the end of its life. I don't know if I'll do a flip through at all. Um... Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. I am not an expert on this product, the Rub and Buff, but, but I'll try. Thanks guys, as always, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. You know, I appreciate it so much. And I'll see you next time. Bye.